This is an Empire BB4 3K basket blaster. I just want to run through some of the features on it and show you uh, some of the finer points as to why you should utilize this system. First of all, basically, the BB4 and all the basket blasters from Empire are for batch blasting. They're not for single part or small quantities of parts. It has to be batch blasting, usually larger quantities, and the parts must be able to sustain or hold up to part on part contact. So what you would do, first of all, if you were to uh, start the system to load it, you would open up the front access door. This is our 30 inch diameter basket. You would jog this around, the basket around to where this opening, the door on it, is in the front, to where you can have access to it. From here, you would load your parts. You would then replace the door. start your cycle. Once your cycle is complete, well, let me stop there for a second, simply because on our control panel, you can set it to different times to blast anywhere from 30 seconds to 20, 25 minutes uh, with a precision timer. So once you've done all that, you set it all, then you would process your parts. Once the parts are processed, you would, again, open up the door, remove this access, Door, close your front door, normally because you would keep the sound down, it wouldn't be as loud, so when you jog this basket around to dump the parts, I'll leave it open just for an example here. Jogging around, the parts would then dump down to the lower portion, down into our shed sheet. You would open up your parts door and remove the parts. That's one way of doing it. You could have it down into a bin. You could also insert a, which a lot of customers do, a shed sheet up here in order to um, cut down on any dropping of parts, like a, a huge drop. You have about a, oh, let's say about a 15 to 18 inch drop from the basket down to the shed sheet. If you wanted to eliminate that, you can put your own shed sheet here. Again, jog that basket around, dump the parts onto that. Also, with this, uh, with the BB4 3K, you have, and I'll show you as it comes around here, Three oscillating suction guns. It's a seven inch stroke, which is required in order to cover all angles of the basket, all areas of the basket. This pneumatic oscillator, which is in the rear, is very simple, very easy to use, and very dependable. Uh, what is different with, with our unit versus other units is a lot of people will throw sometimes four to five suction guns into a barrel like this in order to get coverage. We only need three due to the seven inch stroke oscillation. And again, as I talked about, this is a, uh, a test lab. We have here a basket speed monitor and a blast time um, monitor there. They're a little bit, they're a digital version, which is an optional upgrade. But this is basically the uh, BB4 that uh, you'd be looking at. One other thing you want to take a look at possibly, and uh, since there are three guns in this, you would need a one inch pipe connection. Uh, an airline to hook to our one inch piping assembly or pipe string as we like to call it right here That's your air supply going right here a general purpose filter your regulation of your air is done here And your air valve there this shows our oscillation and your DC drive basket right there In this case in here, this is again our test lab facility uh, we have both suction and pressure set up, we're using a 600 CFM reclaimer for both to draw off the bottom of the cabinet.